English playwright Alan Bennett is a bit of a force of nature, albeit a modest one. Best known for his many plays in the theatre and on TV, he's also written several award-winning movies, including The Madness of King George, The Lady in the Van and The History Boys. Bennett's latest is called Alleluia, based on a recent play. Alan Bennett is nearly 90. This isn't just a hospital. That's wonderful, Mary. Think sunshine. It's the Beth, and the Beth is the people. Gorgeous Gerald, the physio, will be paying us a call. Oh, that's it. I'm definitely wearing my shorty nighty. Alleluia is set in a hospital for the elderly, the Bethlehem, nicknamed the Beth, and deals with people of roughly the same age as Bennett. So you might expect his own powers might be fading a little too. I certainly did as I watched the trailer full of many senior English performers and braced myself for yet another old folks in a home comedy drama. There's a camera crew here helping us to save the Beth. This is chipped. No wonder the government are going to close you down. But it's not that. The performers may be senior, but they're here to work, and Alan Bennett's play, adapted for the screen by Heidi Thomas, showrunner of the popular medical series called The Midwife, gives them something to get their teeth into. It's my <laughs> We're fighting for our right to care. We're engaged. Oh, pop it off. It's nothing less than a battle cry on behalf of Britain's beleaguered NHS, under fire in 2018 when the play was written, and even more so now post-Covid. The story opens with the Beth in danger of being closed by a right-wing government. It's also the last week at work for long-time senior nurse Sister Gilpin, a rare straight role for comedian Jennifer Saunders. First, I'm going to take your trousers off. Bet you've said that a few times. Okay, I'm not interested in your penis. The film is full of familiar faces, though unlike the usual all-star fair, the likes of Judy Dench, Derek Jacobi and David Bradley weren't hired for their celebrity. They were hired because they're good. Here's an uncredited Amanda Root offering to skydive to raise funds for the Beth. Five are a strip to win a week in Cleethorpes. Oh, you can sponsor me to do a skydive. Do you know, you have a lovely man of weather. I like old people. Rubbish. Even old people don't like old people. There's a regular visitor, Colin. I wonder how many Alan Bennett characters have been called Colin over the years, who's not just there to bring his dad a bunch of grapes. These days, Colin's a consultant for the government, charged with closing down the Beth as soon as possible. You've gone far, Colin. All I can think of to say is, don't leave it too late to die. Neville, tell him about your life. I used to work in a factory. I had ten men under me. So did I on a good day. (laughs) I have to say, some people have complained that Alleluia is far from the light, breezy comedy they were promised in the trailer. And they're right. It's as dedicated to the values of the public health service as anything by Ken Loach, though Alan Bennett brings something of his own. His voice is unmistakable. Oh, camera? Hidden inside there? Yeah, you can take still pictures or a video and... As I've explained, then the filmmakers might use your footage in their documentary. It's no thicker than a monthly periodical. Yorkshire-born Judy Dench, finally allowed to use her original accent. Is there a phrase more Alan Bennett than monthly periodical? At the start, the film, narrated by expat Indian Dr Valentine, seems to be a series of Bennett's well-known character sketches. The patient's... Without the best, I don't like to think where they will have to go. There was something about books that excited me. Marginalia. The little notes. Readers write at the edges of the page. The patients pushed to the margins, doomed to be rubbed out. But we're being softened up. The pitch-perfect direction is by another octogenarian theatrical, the great Richard Eyre, who long ago worked with Judi Dench on another film about ageing, Iris. Well, the filmmakers say they simply want your point of view. For you to record what you see, to tell them what your life is like. I could tell you something about that chair, only I won't. 
Air deftly focuses on the characters who count in Alleluia. Sister Gilpin, tough but caring, soft-hearted Dr. Valentine, and Russell Tovey as Colin, wielding a sword over the Beth in the name of efficiency. And just as we settle into a worthy, if well-written, opinion piece about the values of post-war Britain, Alan Bennett pulls the rug under us, not once, but twice. We do the things that have had to be done since the world was young. I have cared. We're here for your first cry, for your last breath. I didn't see the first one coming, and Bennett himself didn't see the second one when a pandemic upended all of Britain's expectations. The play Alleluia was given a brilliant final scene for the post-COVID era, and the film itself is a tribute to another national treasure, the veterans of British drama. We will be here when you're old. (laughs) We are love itself, and for love, there is no charge. It's so much better than you might expect, even if some critics may have wished for something meeker and weaker. But they clearly haven't been paying attention to the author. Alan Bennett, after all these years, he's still undeniably got it. 